Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. This is such a cool collection and I like literally couldn't wait to film with it. So today we're gonna be playing around with the new Kylie Cosmetics and Batman collection. I think that this is one of the coolest PR packages I've ever gotten. I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm definitely a Marvel girl, but I can always appreciate some DC. I do like Batman. The nerd in me was definitely geeking out when I got the package, so I was so excited. Um, let me show you guys this PR box. Box, it's like a collector's tin thing. I don't even know. Look at how sick this is. This is so cool. I'm definitely putting this on display in my room. This is massive. Um, and it is like a, like a tin kind of box. Um, and then you open it up. I have everything already out, but like when you open up everything is inside and I don't know if they're selling this. If they are and you're a collector, pick this up. This is so freaking cool. I love this so much. Um, I'm going to use this as like a little side table. I cannot wait to put this out. Um, but this collection did launch already when you guys are watching this, so I'll link everything down below for you guys if it's still in stock by the time I uh, put this video up. So we're going to be doing some swatches, a tutorial, and then I'll give you guys my review at the end of the video on everything as well. You guys know the drill, um, but seriously, I'm like obsessed with this. I love this so much, but this is really massive, so let me put this to the side. So stoked to like show you guys everything in this collection, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing that we have is the eyeshadow palette. I think that this is so cool. So this is what it looks like. It looks like an actual comic. It has a little like 10 cents up here. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. Um, the packaging is so cute and I know it is rather large but again it's supposed to look like a comic. So what it looks like on the inside. We have a comic strip over here and then the mirror. I'm pretty sure this like little it's like a sticker over and you could take it off but I'm gonna keep it on there because it has Batman on it. And then the actual shadows themselves are on the bottom right here. I love this design so much. I think they killed it with it, like with this design. Um, I love that all of the colors in the palette definitely correspond to the colors in the comic strip. You guys know how I feel about corresponding colors. Like I hate when I open a palette and like none of the colors are similar to like the packaging or anything. So this definitely, like I think the colors in here, I could have used a couple more blues, but I'm not mad at it. Like I think this is so, so cute. I love that we have a matte black, a shimmery black, a matte blue, a shimmery blue. Um, and there are some neutrals in here to definitely balance it out. There's a silver, a yellow. I think they killed it with this palette. If not, this might be like one of the best Kylie palettes for sure. That's the first thing in the collection. The next thing that we have is a little mini eyeliner set. And this is what the packaging looks like. It comes again in this little like tin packaging. Um, it has like Batman on the sleeve and then you take this off. This is what the little tin looks like. This reminds me of like my old school like pencil, like pencil boxes that I used to have in school. Um, I love this so much. And then you open it up and then we have the three eyeliners inside. We They're all metallic. We have a metallic green, blue, and black. Um, and then we have like Batman on them. And I think this is so cute. They are a retractable um, eyeliner. And yeah, I love this packaging. Again, definitely if you're a collector, this would be something to pick up because you could definitely put this on display or even use it for anything afterwards. Love that so much. So we have a little mini lip set. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has Batman on the front in this gray packaging. And then we have three little mini lip glosses. These are adorable. How cute and tiny these are. These are little minis. I'm obsessed. I love the size of them. They're so cute. Um, so we have three shades. We have Bat, Catwoman, and Pow. Bat is a pretty peachy nude with some gold shimmer throughout it. Catwoman is a really pretty like like berry shade and then pow is this like sheer kind of blue duochrome lip gloss I think this is such a fun color to you like have in the collection um and definitely like ties in with the next product that I'm going to show but this is so cute I love these I love the size of them and this would be such a cute gift um also if you're like thinking ahead like I always do this would be a really cute stocking stuffer so if you want to like get it now and like give it to somebody for Christmas I think that'd be really cute but yeah so that is the little mini lip set the next product that I was talking about that would tie in with that gloss is the highlighter again packaging perfection I think they killed everything packaging wise in this collection this is called Gotham City and this is the highlighter in here and this really pretty bright yellow compact that says Batman on it and you open it up and we have this really pretty I don't know if you can see I'll probably do it like you probably see it better in the close-up but it has it's like a white with a blue duochrome shift to it and it has the skyline with the bat 
in the sky. I love this so much. Again, killed it with the design and packaging. This is so, so cute. And the last thing that we have in the collection is a makeup bag. This is like the perfect size makeup bag. This is like the size I always want when it comes to bags like this. Um, it has a really cute comic strip design all throughout it. It's pretty large inside. I feel like you could fit a lot of stuff. I definitely kind of want to take this. I'm going to Vegas this weekend. I kind of want to take this with me because I feel like it would fit everything. Um, it is like lined inside and it's black so if it gets dirty you can't really see it um and it has like a really cute bat zipper and it says batman on the front i think this is such a cute again collector's item and if you really like batman this would be such a cute makeup bag to have and everything except for the palette <laughs> obviously the palette is so large but everything in the collection does fit in here which i think is so cute um and yeah you still have some room in here so love that but yeah, so that is everything in the collection. I also, thank you to Kylie Cosmetics for sending over this collection. I think this is one of the coolest and like one of my favorite PR collections I've ever gotten. So thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so this is the look that I came up with today using the collection. If you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts on the collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the eyes. I'm actually really excited. I thought I was going to start off with the palette, but I saw this picture on the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram of this look and I was like I want to do something either recreated or do something similar but it is so pretty so I'm gonna start off with the little um eyeliner set just swatch the eyeliners and they're so pretty so I think I want to do a mixture of the eyeliners and the palette so I'm gonna start off with the eyes first uh, I'm gonna do a little bit different than this picture I'm gonna start off with the shade what color is this I'm gonna start off with Gotham's hero this is the blue one and I'm gonna start off on the lash line this one in particular seems a little like um of a stiffer eyeliner so just be careful so it doesn't break. This has a base for one of the shadows, so I'm not like too worried about how this one's going on. You can be a little messy with this one. Kind of like that, and then I'm gonna wing this out. Clean that up a little bit with some concealer. Then from that, I am gonna go from the inner corner with the green one. This one's called to the rescue. And I'm going to bring this on the inner part from right here and go a little bit over my natural crease. So I'm taking this shade. Again, I'm going to warm it up. This one seems a little bit softer than the blue one, but this color is so pretty. So I'm just looking straight into a mirror. And if you have like more of a little bit of a hood like I do, uh, I'm going to go right over my natural crease. So when I look forward, you can see it. So I'm starting off from the inner corner. I'm bringing this on the inner corner as well. Like an inner corner cat eye kind of look. But this color is so pretty. And I'm just going to like taper that off into like that little area. And from this blue one, like the black eyeliner. This one is called um, Dark Knight. Slay. The liner, I'm going to take the, the wing and go up over this green liner. So from here, I'm just going to, I'm actually going to map it out a little bit. I'm connecting that to this wing over here. Then with a little smudger brush, going with bold, it's the shimmery blue in the palette. And I'm going to smudge out that liner and then also this like outer little corner of the wing area. Going with Batcave, this is the shimmery black in here. I'm going to take that right at this like wing. Back with that blue and just go over this liner. I also dampened my brush just a little bit with that black just so the sparkle really comes through. I'm just kind of tapping over. You can really see it too much on camera, but this black has like a green 
shimmer in it and when the light hits it you can definitely see it. So what I'm using is a Lancome uh, smudger and liner brush. Uh, with that little liner brush I'm actually going to go over where I put that liner with that dampened shadow so that sparkle really comes through. And I really like how that looks, honestly, so I'm going to leave it at that for right now. Uh, I'm going to do this eye really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished up this eye and I added a little bit of the rest of whatever was left on this brush on the inner corner with the black. Just to kind of add a little bit of something. And I also took the shade Batgirl. It's the like shimmery bluish white color in the palette. I just took like... I took some on a like little flat brush. I kind of like dusted some off on the back of my hand. I took that shade right here where there was like nothing here. It just kind of looked too bare for me. So I wanted to add a little something and I just kind of like dusted that in there. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit more of that black. I'm not taking any additional product. I'm just kind of using whatever's left just to kind of deepen up this area. Um, and it goes really pretty on top of that green. So I feel like it looks like a lot right now, but I feel like once I have the rest of my makeup on, it won't look as crazy. <laughs> uh, but it's definitely like a bold eye look for sure. But I like bold eye looks. So um, I don't think I'm going to do anything to the lower lash line. Maybe like a little smudge here and there. But I think this is pretty much what I have for the eyes. Do the rest of my face, like my foundation and stuff, and I'll be right back. I went ahead and just did my base and everything right now. So all we have left is the highlighter and the lip products. I don't know how crazy I'm going to go with the highlighter just because the eyes are already a lot. I'm also going to an event right now. So I'm like, I don't want to be doing like the most, even though I already am. For the highlighter, I'm just going to do it on the inner corner a little bit. I do love Kylie's, uh, ooh, this is really pretty. Kylie's highlighters. I use the Valentine's Day one that she came out with literally every time I do my makeup. So... This one's really pretty. It has like that shift of blue. I also just love the design on it as well. It's so pretty. It has that blue shift to it. So I'm not doing anything super crazy. Just adding a little bit. Um, and yeah, I was going to put some on the center of my nose. Actually, we'll do a little bit on the, the tip of my nose. This is the one I use all the time. My Kylie highlighter. This is the Valentine's Day one. I'm going to do the rest of my nose highlight with this one. Yeah, this blue is like a little bit much on the tip of my nose. I'm adding a little bit of that <laughs> other one. Um, and now it's giving very highlighted. The lower lash line really quick. I, the eyes are already a lot. I'm honestly just going to do like a really simple uh, like neutral in the lower lash line. I'm going to take He Returns. It's just like this everyday kind of like brown shade. Um, and this is just going to like define the lower lash line. Because I do like to have a little something there. But it's not going to be like a lot. Since the top is already a lot. <laughs> I actually really like that for the lower lash line. It adds like a little bit of definition without doing a, like too much. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go ahead and just put on some lashes really quick and then we'll finish off the look with the lips. So I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. So let's go ahead and do the lips or the neutral lip just because again, the eyes are a lot. So for my lip liner, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever um, pencil in Anywhere Caffeine. Just kind of feeling in my lips a little bit my new favorite lip liner it's just like the perfect color and then for my the gloss that i'm going to use from the little set i'm using bat this is so cute it's like little mini gloss but this one's like the nude with some like gold glitter throughout it oh yeah this is like perfect cute these smell really good it smells like um cupcakes <laughs> Perfect! It's like the perfect little nude lip for this eye look. So let me dust off this powder really quick. Okay, so this is the finished look. I am obsessed with this look. I love this so much. Um, I love blue and green together, so this was like perfect. Um, so let me give you guys my final thoughts on this collection. So I love the packaging of everything in here. The packaging is perfect. Um, 100 out of 10 for packaging wise. I love that the palette looks like a comic. I am a, a little nerd so this is like fulfilling my little geek nerd heart. Um, it is just so cute and even though it is pretty large <laughs> for a palette, it, like I said, it's supposed to look like a comic so I think it's perfect for that. 
Um, the colors in here are really, really pretty. They picked really good shades that correspond with one, the packaging, but also the, also the little comic strip inside. Um, and I think those shadows that I used, they performed really well. I really, really like the eyeliners. Um, the only one I really kind of noticed an issue with was the blue one that it was more of like a drier, stiff formula. Um, but the green and black ones, I didn't notice that at all. Um, these ones were a, li a little bit easier to work with. The blue one was definitely like I had to kind of tug on that one a little bit, but I had them on the back of my hand and I got like a makeup wipe and I was like scrubbing and they were not coming off. Like I had to literally like scrub my hand for them to come off. So it's like not that bad in that sense because I guess they really do stay on. Um, and I think they were really easy to work with other than like this one being uh, a little bit more stiff. Uh, I mean, I created like a nice little graphic liner and I got pretty precise lines other than that. So I think that the eyeliners are probably my second favorite thing in the collection. Except the eyeliners come in are so cute. Like this little tin that the big collector's box was and this one. Um, I don't know why it just reminds me of like older, um, like, I don't know, things you would find like a comic book store, like a little pencil box or something. I don't know. That's just me. But um, also the highlighter, again, packaging is so cute. And this itself is adorable. The actual highlighter itself is really, really pretty. I love when highlighters uh, that are like blue, like something's like in a blue collection, they do that like white with a shift of blue in it. It's so pretty. The actual like em uh, embossing, is that what it's called? I don't know. Like the design on the highlighter itself is adorable. So much detail in it. I think this is perfect for like a collector. So, so pretty. And I really do like Kylie's um, highlighter formula. So this is like the little sleeve for the eyeliners and I think this is so cute. I Again, packaging amazing um, and again lastly the the little lip set packaging so cute I love that they're tiny I love the little bat design on the lids and I think it's adorable I think this is a really cute gift as well since they are a little bit more smaller um, it's it's adorable I love it and this nude one is perfect I like this really pretty berry color as well I think that would go really pretty with some of the um, looks and then I love that we did a nice little like duochrome blue one adorable love it and then also this makeup bag is so cute this is the perfect size makeup bag i don't like the little i hate when makeup bags are too small and then like way way too big this is perfect it's not too big that you couldn't like travel with it this is like the size makeup bag that i do travel with um i would show you guys my makeup bag right now but it's kind of a disaster it just looks like this but then you can kind of see it's like the same size um I think it's so cute. I love the comic strip um, design on it. The actual Batman is really pretty. I just, this is adorable. I think if you're going to pick up anything in the collection, the palette and the makeup bag and the eyeliners, but this is so cute. And it's like black inside, so it, it's like it's a little dirty. You can't see it. Um, this is adorable. Definitely recommend the makeup bag. It feels nice. I like the little zipper on it. it has a little batch. Adorable. Now, I mean, I think everything else performed pretty well. Again, I love this eye look. It's so pretty. I definitely got the inspo from their promo pics that they had. I just think this is stunning. That shade that I used on the lid just added such a pretty touch. It's still like pretty subtle, but like when the light hits it, it's everything. So I definitely really, really like this collection. And again, I'm not sure if they're selling the PR like collector's tin thing, but if they are and you're a like Batman or DC collector, pick it up. I think this is such a cute display piece. I'm going to definitely keep this in my room. I have like a little table. I don't know if you can see. I mean, you can't see my bed's covering it, but I have a little side table over there and I kind of want to take that out and use like the little collector's box as a little display slash side table kind of thing. I really, really like this. I think this is one of the coolest PR packages I've ever gotten, so thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I love the way that this look came out. I'm obsessed, and I think it's so pretty. That blue that I used to smudge out that liner is everything. So pretty. So um, anyways, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on this collection. Did you guys pick anything up? Um, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.